Hey there guys and welcome back. If you watched the first part, welcome to the second. So here we are beginning our quest to install these acrylic eyes. This first shot is of me drilling as far as I can within the eyes to see whether they had sculpted them and then placed them within the head itself. And I was right. Now before I did some major brain surgery on this life-size bust, I decided to get rid of all the unsightly black around the eyes. To me, I don't like starting my skin tones with a black base coat, I like starting on a white prime coat. So I got some q-tips, dipped them in acetone, and lightly started uh, scrubbing away at the eyes. And now the brain surgery commenced. I used my metal cutting tool on my Dremel. I had sharpied this line of where I wanted to go and how it was going to happen. So all I did is follow that line. And as you can see, it's a little brutal to watch, but I just followed the line and made my incisions. Fair warning for anyone wanting to sand away or chip away at their resin busts. Please wear a respirator and be in a well-ventilated area. You don't want to breathe in this stuff and it's pretty toxic to your body, so do yourself a favor and wear a respirator or a dust mask. Now with the back of the skull plate removed, I give you a glimpse at what it looks like on the inside. And to my amazement, they really globbed a lot of material and I'm gonna have to remove like 90% of that. But on the upside is that my helmet that I've built actually fits the bust and that's what it looks like with it on. So back to the bust and just removing a lot of the material. I did have footage of me removing a lot of the material itself, but it's such a tight-knit spot that you can't really get a camera angle of me working away at it. Now talking about the eyes themselves, they're made by 4th Seal Studios. I found them on Instagrams and I commissioned them to make these eyeballs for me. Now the more I worked on this thing, the more I got excited, so I kept taking pictures and videos of what the eyeballs look like within the skull itself. Right here I'm getting closer and closer to the finish line. I'm working on the right side and I tell you the more Dremel accessories you gather the easier the job is. This got done a lot faster and right here I'm actually chest fitting the eye sockets to see how well the eyeballs fit within them. Get them installed in there permanently. You're going to need epoxy sculpt, you're going to need equal amounts. And what I went ahead and did is apply or hot glue toothpicks behind the eyeballs to give me a little bit more of control uh, once I apply the epoxy sculpt on the back of them. For the eye positioning, I decided for him to look straight because I believe it gives off a little more sass and more of a malicious stare. I was contemplating him looking off to the right, however it looked like something had caught his attention in the right hand direction and his whole head just looked that way instead of just moving his eyes. So we just got him looking sassy straight and you'll see how sinister that look will be once I apply both eyeballs within the head.
And there it is, guys. That's how I installed acrylic eyes into my reverse flash life size bust. Next episode, we'll be discussing and showing my techniques with uh, the paint application for this dude. So stick around, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to keep in touch and keep in the know with what's going on with this.